Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is December 31st, 2022. This is the last day of the year. And if you haven't already saw my other videos, I summarize what I have done for 2022. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about what I learned from last year or from the previous year and what changes I'm going to do. So let's talk about what we did for 2022. In 22, I used something called two, three, four lots or nine total, 10 wide, nine times 1,000, nine thousand max power. I closed all my positions in two, three, four on the 31st. If, if you want to see it, Watch the uh, the final year-end summary of the 234 video, and you'll see that. So what I'm going to do different is for 2023, I want to continue this Iron Condor Challenge on SPY all year long. Now, this time, I'm not going to do 9,000. Now, I did 9,000 for a reason. Some people wonder, could you make money with small portfolio? And I demonstrated that even with 9,000, or you could have done it with 2,000. You just followed along using the two contracts. You could have copied my result. For this year, I'm going to do four, five, six. One of the things that I'm learning is I need to, I feel confident about my trades because I've done over, I always generally do a thousand trades or more a year. But last year I hit 1500 trades, 1551 I believe is the exact number. So I feel confident that I know how to adjust and I'm feeling better about how I manage risk. So I would love to move it up to four, five, six. That's 15 max contracts using 10 wide. That's $15,000 of buying power. And that's what I want to do for this year. As always, I'm going to try to post it all up on Twitter when I do my trade confirmation from E-Trade. And I'll also post it up on my Facebook group, Investing 102. And sometimes I do post up the trades on Options Trading 101. Normally, I create a summary video. I'll try to do it at least once a month. As always, all my trade data, I get it from E-Trade. I dump it into a table in Excel. I add some columns in, add some notes in, keep track of every trade. I put in some formulas in there to help me calculate some stuff. And at the end, I'm going to add a new column for easy filtering. So I know that this is related to my new 456 trade. On top of that, I want to make sure I uh, talk about this. In the past, I have taken I have taken the profit, and I don't move it off the table. What I do is I buy dividend-paying stock. And in the last two years, I've been buying hundred shares or whatever I'm buying, so then I can throw a cover call on it. So what that does is it was a very conservative strategy. But it does require some stock picking. What that means is this year, you should see my portfolio size grow. You see, if I buy 100 shares and the shares drop, I'm not tracking total net worth of every share in that portfolio. A lot of times, I'm just tracking my option trading results. So in this year, as always, I never put new capital. I never. This is a Roth IRA account. I haven't, don't, I haven't put money in in, I don't know, 8, 9, or 10 years. Most of the gains have come just from the portfolio itself or dividends or stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. And as a bonus, I think I have enough buying power in my portfolio to do three contracts of QQQs. And I would like to also do four contracts of Visa at the same time. So what that means is I'm just going to put in different indicator for all these different trades and then figure out which one had a higher ROI and which one had a lower ROI. And then try to understand why and what happened during the course of the year. So what did I learn last year? What I realized is most of my profit, or not most, but a significant percentage of it, came from my 234 method, 4300 dollars of profit was from using the 9k max and it what surprised me was this type of portfolio which i document 
and I trade and everybody sees it, did better than sort of my personal portfolio. Things that I don't like talking about or things that I don't talk about every week, right? I show people my trades and Visa and QQQs and everything else. But I do think my public one done better because I was more conservative and I had to not take a risky move. And it forced me to, to make sure I didn't lose money. I mean, it's really hard to be an option trader on social media and show that you lost money. So I probably played it much safer. And because of that, I had better returns on a down market. The other reason is I do have cover calls and cover calls were, I mean, they were okay. They made me money. They were consistent, but from a sort of ROI point of view, they're never going to be as good as other stuff. They're not capital effective. And so you waste a lot of capital and waste a lot of buying power. Now I already own a lot of these stock for 10 years or longer. So for me, I'm, I'm still going to hold it. I want to collect the dividends. But I recognize that those are some of the reasons why it impacted performance. Most of my trades were profitable. There are some bad ones. Um, I think I had a few uh, bear credit spreads or put credit spreads. And they didn't really work out too well for me. And I remember losing $1,000 or $2,000 on a few of those around July, I think. I, I got burned in July. Then I got hurt somewhere during that volatile time in the shortly after July, and it was really hard, but it wasn't enough to wipe me out, and I have never blown an account. I want to keep it that way because I want to trade smarter. Again, I gotten way better at taking losses earlier, and for this year, I think I, in one of my other videos, I show you my pivot table. I only lost money in one month of trading, one out of 12, and from a weekly point of view, I lost money 10 weeks out of the year, I had a negative uh, P&L for trading options, which means 42 weeks were green. And that's why I was able to make $19,000 trading this year. What I would like to do, and I don't know if this is going to be true or not, but I would like to increase my P&L this year. That's, that's one thing I really want to do. That's why I, I believe I can do that by trading more contracts. Now, that doesn't increase your percentage or your ROI, but it will increase if I only made 19000 It should be a little bit easier for me to make twenty two or 23 or 25000 So that's what I'm hoping for. I don't know what's going to happen in 2023. So, hey, I want you guys to join me on this journey all year. Watch a few of these uh, videos all year long. See what I do. This is what I do for my clients. I do live trading as a financial coach. I help my clients sort of come up with a better way to protect their income or protect their net worth and how to grow it in a way that's, that, again, I use a little bit of insurance concepts and, and hedging and, you know, and to make everything work together so that when you have millions of dollars, not everything is in one asset class. This works much better. You remove some risk. You can still make money. You're not too worried about which direction the market is going. So that's really awesome stuff. But if you haven't already, hey, comment below, subscribe, give me a like. If you want to learn about other things that I'm doing, go check out my other videos if you haven't seen them yet. I have a year-end summary that talks about how much money I put away this year and what are my plans for next year. And I also have a video that summarizes the travel hacks that I did this year in 2022 and how much points it uses and what I did and stuff like that. Watch those videos, subscribe to my channel, stick with me. Hopefully I can help you win with money in the year 2023. As always, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. Have a profitable day. Bye-bye.